Hello everyone, I'm Rakhi Rupadi, Communications Coordinator for BNI here in the UAE. And today, the member whom I have on Spotlight in our Directors and Ambassadors team is Edwin. Edwin has been a member of BNI for the last seven years. He belongs to the Enotizers chapter and he's a Director Consultant for the Evergreen chapter. So let's get talking to him and know more about his journey here in BNI. Hi Edwin, how are you today? All great, Rakia. Great to see you today. Good how to are see you? you too. Thank you so much. I'm good. Uh, firstly, let me wish you a big congratulations for completing seven years in BNI. Thank you. How Thank does you so that much. feel? It's a long time. Yeah, actually, it looks like you know it's just yesterday. You know, reminiscing the the uh, the uh, experiences, uh, the journey of being a BNI core member of BNI Energizers. Along with that, being as first leadership team of the Energizers, as one of the police, you know, the, as vice president of the chapter. So yeah, it's really amazing. Until now, it's really in my uh, mem the memory. It's totally amazing. It's, I can still really remember everything. Um, what we have accomplished, what we have done in the chapter. We reached 47 that time and uh, the most diverse chapter in UAE with 26, 27 different nationalities. So that's the achievement that we have along with that is the, uh, the first Hall of Famer in UAE, the Hall of Fame chapter. So that, that's really one big thing for us, yeah. That's amazing. Awesome to know that, Edwin. But before we get started with any more of our questions, let get, let's get started to know you more. Tell us about yourself, about the business that you represent, and uh, of course, about your journey, what got you into BNI? Okay, actually, this is really one funny story. It was uh, shared with uh, BNI Global uh, um, team, Global Events team. Um, I I'm uh, Edwin. I'm the managing director and founder of a company called Pay Middle East Business Consultancy. Uh, we do licenses services, and the category that we have is business incorporation, onshore and uh, pay zone. And uh, I have currently around four people under my team, and uh, managing approximately around 250 uh, uh, clients. That includes our BNI headquarters, our BJ. Along with that is the corporate positions. Uh, thank you to BJ. And um, that's why that's um, my category. And then I joined BNI seven years back, actually, as uh, one of the employees. I'm employee before, and I worked with uh, uh, one of the consultancy companies. But before that, Rocky, imagine 10 years back, I'm only seven years old, now, right? So 10 years back, let's go back 10 years back, almost 11 years to be exact. I attended my first BNI meeting, and it's uh, in early bird as one of the uh, guests or visitors. And then imagine um, I closed business. During that day, I closed business with my fellow visitors worth 105,000 dollars. Now, immediately, I told myself, I want to be a BNI member. I want to be a BNI member, and I want to join this, this chapter. But suddenly, sad to say that all chapters in BNI, the category that I have is not available anymore. It's mm. all taken only by one company. Trust me, I'm not going to tell you the company, but it's all taken <laughs> by one company only. So I waited, I applied, I waited as a waiting list, waited for one year, two years, then I forget about BNI. Then after more than three years, Dr. Rapshin, our former area director and director consultant of Energizers, called us and said, Edwin, are you still interested? I immediately say yes. So I, I joined the meeting. I go to Insomniacs. And then uh, immediately I submit my, my application. Imagine that. That's really quick, you know? Then Dr. Rachin says, no, 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 no. It's not like that. I need to interview you first. Then he did the interview. He said, okay, Edwin, can you come every week in the meeting? I said, Yes, definitely. Can you come 6.30? I said, yes. Can you uh, bring repairs? Okay, I can do that one. Can you do this? You know, all this commitment, this question and answer, and then can you bring visitors? 
what why do I need to be visible? Can you you know can you can you uh, attend training? A lot of these things. And say, okay, come on. What, return me my return the application form in my chat. <laughs> so, so and then um because that's not my money. Anyway, it's it's company with company's money. Mm. So I said, okay, let, let's go ahead and try. So we started February and we launched the chapter um, on July 1st. And uh, we're very happy that, uh, again, I'm the first member who got the green color of traffic lights, 80 points after three months. I'm the first member who reached 100 points uh, in the chapter. And trust me, Rafi, I'm giving business for the last eight months of my membership but I'm not getting anything. Any single peers? No, nothing. So after eight months, I got my first closed business. It's only 250 dirhams and everything starts from there. Mm. 250 dirhams. Now I'm getting roughly around, honestly, 80 to 85% of my business are all from BNN now. And minimum at least 20 to 25,000 dirhams uh, sales um, from the energizers alone. And then I'm getting more business from other chapters, from, from members from all over the world, from Philippines, from Lithuania, you know, these different countries after attending the global convention. So now I'm a director consultant of the Evergreen chapter and I'm really happy that I took this opportunity to serve BNI after getting a lot from BNI. So that, that's my BNI journey. And uh, yeah, it's a really amazing journey for me. That's that's really very nice to know. But let's get also getting to know more about your DNA journey, uh, which is the directors and ambassadors. You did start by becoming an ambassador for the Evergreen chapter, and then now you are the director consultant. So, tell us what inspired you to take up this role to begin with. Uh, ambassador, I don't have any issue with being ambassador. You are our first ambassador in, uh, in Energizers, and. Uh, mentoring the, the members are really one thing that I really love. So when they offered me the, the director consultant, I was referred by Dr. Raps in the time, and I'm really thinking about it. But uh, I took the challenge. Why? Because I really want to improve myself. I'm challenging myself to improve more, to help more people, to help more BNI members. And uh, I'm really amazed what BJ told me. BJ told me, there is no other way uh, to, um, to become a good mentor except telling your real life story, you know, with BNI or in BNI. So through that, I'm managing um, the chapter and I'm inspiring the members itself by sharing my experience, my BNI journey. And again, BNI is not for everybody. I am always telling you. Uh, BNI is not for everybody, but if you're the right person in, uh, in BNI or as BNI member, you will get all the benefits that you are going to expect and more than uh, more than that, actually, more than you're expecting. So that's uh, my, uh, my take why I took the director consultant uh, um, position just to give back to BNI. That's my main objective. That's amazing, Edwin. And uh, knowing that, and we've already mentioned that before, that you started by becoming an ambassador to this chapter, and then now you've become an, a director consultant. So tell us what have been your key learnings in this journey so far? Mom, number one, it's really being flexible. Because if you remember this chapter, it's all women chapter. Yeah. And uh, now it's open for, for gentlemen. But at the end of the day, being flexible, and uh, uh, being consistent when it comes to support, when it comes to uh, uh, answering what they their inquiries, what they need, what kind of support. Um, my learnings, one thing that I really learned from uh, throughout my BNI journey as director consultant is uh, how you can at least provide uh, immediate solution when it comes to uh, issues that the members how we can help the members. That's really, I always uh, mention. My first few words is how we can help the members. 
when every time that they ask, involving about the performance, involving about the contributions, traffic lights, and even the new applications. So that that's uh, my uh, usually my my uh, experience as uh, BNI director consultant. And uh, that's it. That that's all I I really admire when it comes to uh, BNI as director consultant and the learning learning from you know the the tradition and innovations one of the core value of BNI um you need to adjust you need to learn and adapt that's really one thing that uh, I learned also through of this director consultant journey of BNI every day. That's great Edwin. Now you rightly mentioned Evergreen chapter was the first ever ladies only chapter which started here in the world not even in the UAE. And then slowly but surely we open it up for gentlemen as well. Uh, so tell us what has been your vision? Uh, what is actually your vision going forward for the Evergreen chapter in the next coming 12 months? In the next 12 coming months, um, I'm really happy that we have a dream team, leadership team as of the moment. Um, we achieved more than 100% of our commitment when it comes to bringing visitors to our chapter. Um, now we're converting the visitors one by one. And uh, by next week, we'll be inducting around three members. And uh, we now Evergreen, it's, uh, it's um, open for a gentleman, uh, for those who's listening. It's, it's now open. And majority of the categories also, hot categories, we can say, are open and uh, the way I see it really evergreen will reach around uh, probably around gold chapter by at least in the next uh, or probably um, uh, platinum chapter in the next 12 months. The way I see it, the eagerness, the contribution, the participation of the members are really improving as uh, it's one step at a time, but we are going there. So in the next 12 months, I'm, I'm looking for a uh, new leadership team who will uh, eager also to help others uh, for the sake of uh, contributions or learnings, mentoring, everything involving about B and I, just to help at least the member to grow their business together. So that's my my uh, vision for this uh, chapter for the next twelve months. That's an amazing, Edwin. Now, tell us something else. Uh, Evergreen chapter has always been unconventional, being the first women-only chapter starting in the world. And also, you all do something a little bit more differently. Your, your timings are a little bit different as well, right? To take into consideration uh, the women, which was in the very beginning. So what, what are the timings just for the members or just for the audience out here to know? We, they are starting the meeting. Officially, it's 8.30 to 10 o'clock in the morning. The open networking starts at 8 a.m. We uh, uh, did that timings because majority of the uh, members of which we know, it's all ladies chapter before, yeah. is uh, doing more uh, tasks involving about uh, related to their families, you know, and to their children. So uh, we end up starting around 8.30 to accommodate their timing. And along with that, after doing some personal uh, uh, responsibility or course, then then uh, the BNI or the business who uh, uh, um, business activity is after that one. So mm -hmm. just to accommodate them, especially those dropping their children to school <clears throat> and as or helping their husband preparing going to to the office or to their own businesses. So just to accommodate them, and uh, it's really working properly. And this is the first. Uh, uh, not only the first old women chapter in the world, but also the first, uh, you know, the different timings, BNI uh, meeting timings in UAE. Exactly. So not just for the people who have children and families to take care of, but also for the people who consider 6.30 to be a little bit of an early time. So not for the early risers as such, as such, but for the people who want a little bit of more flexibility in terms of the timings, do consider Evergreen, not just only for the timings, but also for a great variety of members you all have and showcase. 
So that's great to know, uh, Edwin. Let, that's uh, thank you for telling us about that. Now we all know that. I mean, I know that, and I want you to also tell people that you have attended the global convention events in the past. And uh, how has that been in terms of uh, your experience? And given that uh, our next uh, convention is coming up soon, how can you share a few learnings or how you've experienced the whole uh, convention like? Thank you for that question. Actually, the, my, my first things first, one week, even the convention only lasts around five days, four or five days. One week is not enough. You need to be there at least 15 days probably ahead or after the convention to have more meeting and connections with the global members. Yeah. Uh, when I attended the BNI, uh, the BNI Global Convention in Warsaw, Poland, uh, that, that was 2019, it's really an amazing experience meeting a lot of members. Considering, Rocky, considering that I only selected lawyers, tax consultant, and uh, yeah, only two categories. Imagine that, lawyers, tax consultant, I don't know. The other one category is um, business incorporation like me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Considering that one, I usually start my 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 journey, my day during the global convention from 5 a.m. Start my meeting from 6 30 a.m. and I usually finish midnight. That's how busy we are that time. Wow. And having one with different uh, different uh, members all over the world. And What's good thing with that? See, I'm catering international market. So meaning I got business from Lithuania, the last one, Australia, and uh, even UK, Italy, and all these people, even Bangkok, even in, in mm -hmm. Thailand, uh, last February. Um, we, we, I met these guys from BNI Global Convention. I did not immediately get the business. But in long term, if you are connected to them because they know you, they remember you, then now they're giving business. Yeah. If anything they need from, from UAE, immediately they contacted me. They, they know me better because we had a really a, a, have, we had the quality time having one to one uh, during the BNI Global Convention. A lot of trainings in BNI Global Convention, I'm telling you, um, even your uh, reading or listening or doing all the examinations in in BNI Business Builder, it's not enough. Being there in person, it's totally different. It's totally different. And meeting the people in person, it's really amazing. And uh, one other tip, every time you travel, make sure you visit one BNI or two BNI chapters every time you visit one country. I know it sometimes it's only purely leisure, but spend time at least two, uh, two to three hours with one chapter. And trust me, it's probably will not get business immediately, but in the future, having good connections in that country, it will be amazing. It's a good connection. And that's my journey in, uh, in uh, Poland. It's not enough. Being there a week ahead, it's not enough. You need to be there either one week early to attend other BNI chapters meeting, and to network or stay there for a week after the global convention. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing that with us and for also sharing a tip of visiting a BNI chapter when you visit. That's an amazing tip out there, Edwin. Now, <clears throat> before we end our interview, uh, I would like you to share another tip with us. Any tips that you have in mind, given that we are slowly going to be going into a transition in terms of leadership teams, any tips for members who are willing to take up any roles, who are thinking whether they should be taking up roles, or even also for other members who are willing to also step into those footsteps of an ambassador beginning their DNA journey? What would you advise to any of these kind of categories of members? See, um, usually when when you're stepping in in one role in uh, in BNI in one chapter, we always say the exposure. But honestly, it's more than that. Uh, what you're going to get uh, as leadership team of the chapter or let's say mentor coordinator up to the simplest uh, uh, role of BNI chapter, you're contributing a lot. You know, you're part of the family, you're part of the community. 
when you do something to the chapter, it's not only about exposure. It's, it's about developing your credibility, developing your relationship with your fellow members. And trust me, as per law of nature, if we believe really in givers gain, you're giving your time to the chapter, you're giving your knowledge to the chapter, you're giving everything to the chapter, okay? In, in either, um, uh, let's say, in either in your time, your talent, you know, your treasure, then I think everything will come back to you either, uh, can be, it can be today, it can be tomorrow, it can be in the next couple of weeks or months. And uh, you will get these benefits Again, being true to yourself, being responsible, being being active, and being honest. It's really one thing that I'm going to tell you that you should do it honestly, with wholeheartedly, this role. Because at the end of the day, it's you who's bringing this. Uh, uh, they will see it naturally. Yeah. They will see it naturally, and and you don't need to to pretend. Being honest, it's really one thing that I learned from this journey for the last seven years. And what why they love me because of being honest with them, being true to them. So I think that's really one thing that you need to consider when taking up the role. When you accept it, then then we uh, you know we always say this one, walk the talk, you know, show it, do it, show to them how you do it, and then mentor other members, mentor other members, help them to develop also, so that you have the next generation of BNM members taking up the role that you have right now for your taking as a BNM. So that's my, my, my simple tip, Lappie. Amazing, and there you have it, guys. The most honest, patient, learning, leading by example, and the most helpful and the most friendliest of all, Edwin out here in the house. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here with us. I really appreciate your time. And I wish you all the very best in your journey as a director consultant for the Evergreen chapter and also as a member for your chapter as well for Energizers. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Raki. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much.